Hey, it's Mike Canny again. I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you this amazing Allegro Network Multimeter. Specifically, we're looking at the Allegro 410 series today. The Allegro 410 is a two rack unit packet capture device. And the specific system we're looking at today is the Allegro 7410, which can write in a single appliance up to 240 gigabits per second real-time, real speed, with real-time decodes at high data rates. So here we're looking at Allegro 7410, as I mentioned, uh, connected up to a traffic generator. And we're going at a wink-wink, a, a very slow rate of only about 120 gigabits per second. And this is the main dashboard for the Allegro. And you can see that I've got four 100 gig capture interfaces here that are all running at about 30 gigabits per second. When we switch over and look at the interface statistics, you can see each of the interfaces that are in this system. But as I scroll down, you can see interface three, interface four. These are all the four 100 gigabits per second capture boxes. And you can see something very amazing here, no dropped packets. Switching over to the dashboard, let's say we wanna grab a quick PCAP file to download into Wireshark or to view on this appliance uh, live and in real time. I can simply, anywhere in this interface, I can simply click on these uh, PCAP icons, which brings open a window that allows me to do live real time captures at this high data rate. So for example, if I click on this WebShark preview, you'll see here that we're capturing this traffic in real time. And here are the three pane decodes in a matter of under a couple of seconds. Another amazing thing you'll see here is if I want to start troubleshooting this, even at these high data rates, I can simply come in on the left hand side and pick where I want to start. In this case, I'm going to start out just looking at the IP traffic and as I click on IP statistics, you'll see instantly I've got this popped up and it's listing all the top talkers. So every single IP address that we've seen on the network uh, sorted right now by volume of traffic. So you can see in the last uh, minute or so here, we've captured from IP address 16.0.0.1, we've captured 13.7 gigabytes of traffic here. And if I drill into this specific IP, I can then kind of peel the onion and look at things such as statistics about the system itself, the MTU sizes that are being used, the number of new connections that are coming up. Um, likewise, if I want to drill into the conversations here, I can click on connections and one of the things that you'll see that, again, in real time, we're listing out all the TCP sockets uh, along with response times. So, for example, if you're trying to troubleshoot an issue and you're wondering, hey, is it the client, the network or the server that's causing the problem? I can see that very quickly uh, in this table. Likewise, if I want to see a capture of this socket, I can simply click on this PCAP download and we'll see that same workflow where I can grab a very quick trace file simply by clicking on this PCAP icon. Let's say I'm interested in, in diving in even further here to troubleshoot this. If I click on this details tab, it will take me into the details of this specific socket. And for example, if I uh, click here and say, hey, show me the last 10 minutes, you can see specifically that spike that occurred a, a few minutes ago. And from here, I can now scroll down the page and actually see response times from the client's perspective as well as response times from the server's perspective. And again, this is all in real time. And if I want to see the packets and get a trace file of this specific instance, again, I can click on this download icon and then choose whether I want to look at it in WebShark live on the box, or if I want to download it to my browser, ER span this, or send the PCAP file off to an SFTP server. Another feature I wanted to show real quickly before I end the video is the ability to come in and do a search or a complex search. So for example, if I don't know the IP address I'm looking for, but I do know the name of the server or the name of the workstation, but I do know the name of the server or the workstation, I can simply type into this search window, server, and you can see instantly it found the system that was labeled web server. So from here I can click, drill down and continue that troubleshooting but one of the things I really am impressed with about this system is just how fast this is 
And again, we are running at 120 gigabits per second on a 2RU appliance. Thank you very much. Talk to you next time.